Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty and in this video I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation, so stay tuned! Um, for those of you all who don't know, I have a neutral undertone. Um, most brands would typically describe me as someone with a medium, dark, neutral tone, um, neutral undertone. So those are the shades that I tend to typically um, gravitate towards when brands release new products. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So that's what I tried on this first try in the store. But I noticed that all three shades that I tried in the store they just seemed a little too dark for me, but I was still determined. I said, well, I want to try it. Even if I don't get the shade completely right, um, you know, I can kind of adjust that on the back end. I just kind of want to try the foundation. So the one shade that I did think um, that I wanted to try, they actually didn't have it in stock in the Morphe store because um, I guess everybody was just coming out for this foundation. So I went home a little disappointed and frustrated. Um, and I actually tuned into Makeup Shayla's um, YouTube channel and I saw that um, the actual shade of foundation that she uh, tried was or that she wears is shade 26. And so I decided to try shade 26 because um, one thing I do have in common with Makeup Shayla is um, from cover effects. I know that previously she's mentioned that she wears the N85. Um, and I do believe that she, with the um, Fenty powder foundation, I do believe she's either, she wears a 385 on some portion of her face or somewhere similar to that shade. So I said, I know I have at least one shade match in common with her. So I'll try the 26 and it retails for $20, which is not a bad price for foundation. Um, it actually comes with 0 0.94 ounces so you know about an ounce um that that's i think that's a pretty decent price here's my unopened package so let me go ahead and open this and first of all i'm going to read the claims the brand claims to you this long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look they said it's infused with hyaluronic acid um, which is a skin smoothing moisture booster uh, also vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant and glycerin, which is a hydrator for a healthy looking glow. So, so let me pry this open. Yeah. So there's no, there's no turning back. Once you open the top of this, it's actually kind of difficult to, to, to open. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm, I'm literally having to do, I probably I should have opened it from the bottom. That would have made more, look at this. That would have made a whole lot more sense what I just did. Um, didn't make the most sense what I said the bottom was open. So here we go. We try again. Nope, and I'm still ripping. So um, here we have the packaging. It's a nice um, kind of like frosted glass. It looks a whole lot more expensive than um, $20 on a foundation, which is nice. Ooh, we got a squirt top. That's nice. Comes right out. Shade 26 is rich with golden undertones. When I ordered from um, Ulta.com, they gave me um, a Morphe filter. I believe this is the Morphe filter effect foundation brush that they gave me. So that's what I'm going to use to put this product on. Okay, zoom in, zoom in nice and close so you can see my skin. So you can see exactly what this product looks like. This is my bare skin. I don't have anything on my skin. So here, let's go ahead and swatch the jaw. Okay, that is looking a little light right now. Um, but let's go ahead and blend it in and see. I'm gonna do one side of my face and see kind of what it looks like. It definitely feels wet going on. Um, It feels really smooth on my skin. It feels like it just kind of blended right in, like it went right on my skin um, and it's blending right in, even though it felt like it might be a little too light looking at it initially. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see not only my face, but a little bit of my chest area. Um, I am already, I'm first, I'm 10 seconds in and I'm already liking this. I'm liking how it kind of went onto my skin and over my skin. Um, 
feels like it just kind of blended and kind of soaked right it is beautiful on camera oh my gosh gosh that is beautiful it's beautiful on camera and it's beautiful in person um to look at it in person um i can still see a little bit of the texture of my skin i am feeling the natural finish foundation um, I see the medium coverage with the first pass. It did cover a lot of imperfections, but if I zone in, um, you'll see. Um, I do have some blackheads on my cheek because I've slipped with my skincare routines um, the past year. Um, not been as diligent as I usually am. So I have a couple of blackheads popping up. So you can see a couple of my blackheads. But in terms of the way it looks on my skin, it looks the way I like my foundation to look which is natural that's one pass on the face just in this cheek area um when i put it on initially i thought it was going to be too light um but when i blended it in i feel like it actually matches really really well it looks like great on camera and it looks great to my eye so i'm going to keep putting it all over my face and see how i'm feeling about it um, but here this is where the foundation is this is my bare skin so we can compare the two here's my bare skin and um, here is my foundation so here someone's going to get a, a clean brush and um, just kind of blend around my hairline because I don't really want to mess that up too much okay so it wasn't set all the way on my forehead but I can see it and feel it kind of setting feel like it has a little bit of a glowy look um, to the skin. It's definitely the type of foundation that you want to stipple on, I think, to go along with the whole um, soft blur um, kind of claim that it, that it has. Let me zoom in so you can see. Okay, so this is me putting one more layer on my forehead and then just stippling it so you can see um, kind of how this this is kind of working out. The bottom, the layer below it is staying there. It's not picking up from the previous layer, causing the foundation that I already laid down to be messy. It's just putting another layer on top. But you can see that, you know, as I put another layer on top, that makes it look a little brighter. You can see that that wetness and that sheen as I stipple it in um, and then it'll gradually go away as it dries so let me get my brush that I was using just to kind of blend in and I'm kind of going around the edge of that and this is me without any primer or anything on my face this is just the bare foundation on my skin um, let's see allowing it to dry down but it still gives you a beautiful natural finish that is beautiful. That is a beautiful foundation. I like this. But um, I like this a lot. So I like this foundation a whole lot. What I typically do is I'll just kind of use usually a Kleenex. Um, and then I'll just try to get the excess off so that it doesn't really wipe off anywhere. Um, so that you can see what excess there was. Then here's my paper towel so you can see what did come off. Um, so I had a little bit come off, probably a little bit excess that, you know, and that's always a good practice when you're putting on your makeup anyway. You want to get any excess uh, off. But um, here, here is my bare skin. You can see it. Um, we are happy up in here. <laughs> I am happy with shade 26, actually. Um, I feel like it looks really good. It looks good to my natural eye and it looks good in the camera. Um, so I'm going to play with it a little more. Um, and figured out a little more but I'm actually I'm definitely gonna keep this one in my makeup bag and experiment with it um, yeah this this is great right here six hours later and it's still looking great um, I have a little bit of oil breakthrough I think in my t-zone but if you remember I didn't put any primer on with this foundation but I, I love this foundation it's nice and comfortable on my skin um, and it, it's a great nice natural look so looking at it in the viewfinder like i said i have a little oiliness around my nose i'm sure it would look a whole lot better if um i'd actually put primer on but this was just bare skin plus foundation um and i'm really happy with the results looks great